In your Health Watch this Monday morning, you know the saying, we are what we eat, but new research shows many of us are eating a dangerous amount of chemicals, and that's thanks to ultra-processed food. If you have to open a package for every single meal, maybe we've got a problem. It's easy to turn to these types of foods. They taste good, they're quick, they're accessible, but they can cause problems down the road. So Dr. Hassan Chaudhry with Abrazo Arizona Heart Hospital is joining us this morning uh, to talk a little bit about the impact these foods can have. So the more processing, really, the more we're putting chemicals and, and maybe too much sugar in our bodies, right? Right. There's been research that was recently done by the British Medical Journal mm -hmm. that showed a direct relationship between the higher level of pro the ultra-processed foods, which I believe they're going to speak about mm -hmm. shortly, and developing heart disease or stroke. Okay. And uh, it has a lot to do with the amount of sugars and... Um, the bad fats that can deposit themselves along the arteries of the heart that prevent blood from getting to the ah. muscle tissue okay. of the heart itself. So I think a lot of us don't understand the impact that the high sugars really have on the body. It's almost like you're creating an internal roller coaster. Right. So these simple sugars are processed a lot more easily by okay. the gut. And that leads to a higher concentration of sugar within the bloodstream. And that can also uh, result in the release of dopamine uh -huh. within the reward centers of the brain. Okay. And as you reward yourself for the high sugars, that causes you to want to continue with having high sugars uh -huh. a few hours later as mm -hmm. well. After your high peak of the the higher sugars in your bloodstream, you then have that crash as they only last for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. and that's where you get your carbohydrate cravings. Uh, and then the, the cycle continues. It continues, <laughs> absolutely. So cor a coronary heart disease, various problems with the heart, I mean, much of this is impacted by diet and lifestyle, right? Absolutely. The, the research that was just released, it showed that um, the diet itself, aside from uh, other factors like if they had diabetes, okay. if they had heart, uh, not heart disease, but if they had uh, a higher BMI mm -hmm. to start off with, this study of over 100,000 French citizens over six years showed that uh, factoring out all of those other qualifiers, just their proportion of higher ultra processed foods okay. increased significantly their chances of developing or their incidence of developing heart disease and or stroke. Wow. Yeah. And I, I feel like a lot of times in, in medical conversations, we think heart disease, we think heart attack, we, we our minds go to men, but really heart disease impacts women even at a, a greater rate, is that right? Absolutely. At, during younger years, there's a protective effect of estrogen, okay. but as women age and that effect decreases, um, their uh, mortality is just as high as men. Uh, in the older years and the way that uh, these ultra processed foods affect them is the same as well. Dr. Chaudhry, last thing, as you make some changes dietary wise and lifestyle wise, can you reverse some of the damage that maybe has been done already? Um, you can stop, you can <laughs> not contribute as much okay. uh, as you move forward. Uh, staying active and eating healthier definitely mm -hmm. is productive and your body has the ability to uh, have that protective effort, but um, once the damage is there, all you can do is manage symptoms. Okay, but make those lifestyle changes and talk to Absolutely. the doctor. Absolutely, stay in touch with your physicians, uh, with your cardiologist, but absolutely you want to change your diet, make those changes. Uh, stay healthy. The sooner the better, right? We want to live a long life. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Uh, so we're talking about the ultra processed foods. Uh, it's not always just junk food. Gina is standing by right over there in the kitchen yeah. with a what to look out for and what to choose instead, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so let's take what you guys are talking about. Let's put it in practical terms and let's talk about how to make those healthy choices. I'm joined by a Brazo health uh, chef, executive chef who works with the dietitians, Sonata Karabagovich. That's a mouthful. 
helpful, That's but right, I got it right, you. right? Okay. Yes, you did. Thank you. You know, it's difficult to make these choices because, in, in many cases, for convenience sake. So it's easy to grab something off the shelf, open it up, throw it in the microwave, and be done with it. But it is severely uh, hurting our health, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sometimes when we shop for the food and stuff, sometimes we like, you know, I have on the beginning right here the beets. Okay. Beets are very nutrition beneficial, but if you get it in a can, it's loaded with sugar and it's uh, in a sh uh, uh, the syrup, sugar syrup and stuff, uh -huh. and it's uh, like it, it's adding your sugar that it's not high fructose corn syrup, which we want to keep it away. That doctor talked about it. Or you have right here that company is now producing for us very beneficial and stuff that is just the ingredient, it's a beet. It's not. N does not have a high uh, fructose corn syrup, does not have nothing, it's no just chemicals. a freshly, no chemicals, no nothing, preserve, it's a f in a refrigeration and stuff, and it's very beneficial for us. So uh, there you go, so there you have the convenience, yet you still have the freshness. Uh, the freshness and, and then healthier version of the, then go with okay. the, the canned beets. And so if we're making a choice, that's the choice Maybe, that yes. we want to make. Yes. Let's talk about juices and sodas and drinks. I mean, I think that a lot of us have learned that soda is probably not a great choice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but let's talk about sports drinks and what the alternatives are. The sports drinks and stuff, unless you are full athletic thing that you need all these electrolytes and everything else, it's not really going to benef benefit us with everything else. So if you're looking into this drink right here, it said one bottle, it's a 34 grams of the sugar, sugar in this drink, which we say sport drink, we think we're we hydrating ourselves and everything else, unless we're going to use those calories and everything, the sugar that we get in, then we not benefit from this, we are harming from this. I and see. then if we go to the fridge and say, well, if I get the Coke Zero and it's sugar, uh, sugar is zero and everything yeah. else, well, if you read back on the labels, it has everything that you should not have Lots with. Of chemicals and if stuff you go such. to the just the next section and the first fresh produce and stuff. Uh, this lemonade, I made it here. It, it's going to take you less than five minutes, which is not going to expire if you put it in your fridge and you enjoy for the rest of the week, you know? And then uh, you you just have here, it's uh, the pineapple, orange, and lemon. For sweetness, I use uh, pineapple. You can use the watermelon or whatever uh -huh. to sweeten your citrus, so you're not looking for that sugar. You're going to get it from the fresh product. So you don't have to drink just water. I know a lot of times when I have a meal, I want something more with a little yes. flavor, something yes. more than water. That's a good alternative. The alternative, is what you're or just take a take a watermelon, put it in a freezer, uh, f uh, clean the watermelon, put it in a freezer, freeze it, put it in a blender, mm -hmm. and then you oh, have beautiful slushy, no that. additives. Got it. Got it. Uh, let's now. I have to tell you, I did live on this in, in college, <laughs> but you say it was not a good alternative, right? This is ultra that we talk about ultra processed food. Okay. So for crying you know, for God's sake, look at the ingredients in this little package. <laughs> and this little package, it's a two servings. Uh -huh. So that means two time meal, yeah. which going to, sodium, it's 830 milligrams. So if you have this package a day, you already limit your sodium for the day. Okay. It shouldn't be like regular diet, it shouldn't be above two, a thousand milligrams of sodium. So this one, it's a two serving. So at least it's going to make you fuller. Uh -huh. If you're going, this is processed, this is ultra processed. I see. And so if you're going to make a choice between the two, this is going to be better. To go with this one. We are quickly running out of time, so I want to talk about also too, uh, you know, like spaghetti sauce okay. or tomato sauce because you say watch out for the ones that Watching are in the can. Watching the can and everything else, and also he said uh, pasta sauce with the meat, it, mm -hmm. and it's can shelf stable. You can sit there for God don't know two years, three years, and a diced tomato and everything else where they it's not a, just a tomato; it's a tomato juice, salt, calcium, chlorine, whatever. Uh, this tomato I bought in our local uh, farmer growers with uh, the garlic and onions and mm -hmm. a little bit uh, virgin olive oil, sweet basil, and then crushed pepper. Believe me, as a chef, you're yes. going to turn that in a beautiful sauce. Taste. Tasty Delicious. sauce. Yeah. Go ahead, freeze yourself, and have it for a month. You're way oh. more beneficial than from this one that got you're going to be loaded so with the chemicals. So maybe like a Sunday afternoon, spend some time Vacuum making it, and then you've got it for like a month. Us, we human beings, we get very satisfied when we do uh, uh, achieve something yeah. very good. So <laughs> that's a something to work on. Very quickly, what have we got here? I think that, yeah, I some of this point is, out seems this. obvious, Oops, right? all berries has nothing to do with the berries. No berries whatsoever. <laughs> nothing to do. It's a food coloring. <laughs> it's an audit with everything. When you mm -hmm. look in there, you're giving you a uh, kid uh, or yourself, whatever, a bowl of half of sugar, half of this, or you can do oh, buy wow. you berries, get you oatmeal, get you nuts, put it in what you love. Yeah. 
Got in it. the food. And then over here I have a chocolate and bananas, churn those, freeze your bananas, do uh, bananas dip in a chocolate or strawberries instead of these. It's a less sugar, it's a nutrition beneficial, and it's delicious too. Sonata, thank you so much. It's a conversation we could have for hours, I really, but I appreciate the guidance that you're giving us. So there you go. You. There's some opportunities to make some healthy choices, April.